Today, we have designed our robot and it's competition day. Time to beat other high schools. We are here today for the High School Innovation Challenge, a annual event that Northrop Grumman hosts across all of our sectors. A team of employees develop a competition based on the capability that we have or something that we really care deeply about. And then we get our local schools involved and we give them 12 weeks to take some basic design specifications and come up with a design solution. We host them here on the competition day where they give a presentation to a panel of judges. We have a course, they go through it, maybe have a couple trials. About a month before they submit to us a report that details such things as the trade studies they did. One of the key things we really try to do is reinforce the engineering process. You can have a great idea and you can think it's gonna work perfectly, but you have to test it. You have to design a couple options. The first thing you think of is not always gonna be the best. Um, there might be a cheaper solution, there might be a faster solution, so we encourage them and we try to encourage the mentors to work with the schools to have them think that way. The, the real goal is to have students think like engineers. And then, of course, most importantly, you do need to be able to execute your challenge. Uh, Northrop Grumman basically sponsors our whole project, so they provide us with uh, $500, uh, $500 uh, for our budget, and they also provide us with a mentor who kind of guides us and, and aids us uh, along the way. It basically shows that we're thinking about the future. We want to inspire, we need you know, good, smart people to, to solve some of the tough problems going forward. We need that innovation, we need that creativity, that, that next generation brings, that new technology mindset they bring. We used uh, three capacitors that were at 2.5 volts each and 10 farads. And so we used the capacitors to charge up um, our Cortex, which, charges our, or which powers our motors. And uh, we're charging them in series using uh, solar panels that are also in series. Uh, well, we, we try to 3D print most of our parts. Um, so the wheels are 3D printed and then the base for the halo part is 3D printed. And then we also use, we laser cut the uh, swerve stoppers. It's primarily a student-led project. Even at the schools, they'll have teachers involved, but it's a lot of student-led. So they'll have team captains, and the team captain it might be the first time that they're really tasking other students and trying to get them to work as a team. Take the time to come to the school and work in the busy with the kids. We really appreciate all the effort everybody puts in to make that happen.